Finally, let's analyze a graph in standard form. Here we have a function, a parabola, in standard form. Now, there are three ways that we can go about doing this. The first two is by turning it into one of our previous two forms, either vertex form or intercept form. And doing that actually is kind of simple. I can change f of x to y because they really mean the same thing. And first, let's turn this into intercept form. So first, let's factor out that 2. So we have 2 times x squared minus 10x plus 21. Hey, look, this factored polynomial in here can be factored. So this is y equals 2 times uh, 2 numbers that multiply to positive 21 and add to negative 10 are negative 3 and negative 7. Boom, done. We are now in intercept form and we can do exactly what we did in the previous problem. We can also turn this into vertex form, and we can do that by completing the square. Let's take a look. Again, we'll change f of x into y, and we'll move the 42 to the left-hand side. So here we have y minus 42 is equal to, I'm also going to factor 2 out of the 2x squared minus 20x. Here we have 2 times x squared minus 10x, and I'm going to leave a blank here for my completing of the square. Now, the way that we complete the square is by dividing our b by 2, and that gives us the actual squared term. So we have y minus 42 is equal to 2 times x minus 5 quantity squared. So ne negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. However, we have to figure out what we have to add to both sides in order to complete the square. Well, negative 5 squared is 25. So we're going to add 25 to the right-hand side. But we're actually not adding 25. We're adding 2 times 25 because this 2 is still here. There's actually a total of 50 that we just added on the right-hand side. Therefore, we have to add 50 to the left-hand side. So I'm going to erase my 42 because that is wrong. And instead, I'm going to write negative 42 plus 50. That's 8. And hey, here we are in vertex form. y plus 8 equals 2 times x minus 5 squared. The vertex is 5 comma negative 8. And I can do exactly what I did in the very first part of this lesson. However, we also could potentially do this a third way and actually analyze it like we do in standard form. So here we go. There's some memorizing to do in standard form. The x-coordinate of the vertex, which we call h, is equal to negative b over 2a. So negative b gives us 20 over 2a, 2 times 2 is 4, 20 over 4 is 5. Then to find the y value of the vertex, we just plug this x value back in to x. So k is equal to f of 5, which is 2 times 25 minus 20 times 5 plus 42. 2 times 25 is 50, minus 100 is negative 50, plus 42 is negative 8. So my vertex is at the point 5, comma, negative 8. Now, we can find the zeros by setting this function equal to 0. And here we have a quadratic equals 0, that calls for the quadratic formula. So let's solve the quadratic formula. We can divide everything by 2 to make things a little bit simpler because we have set our function equal to 0. And that will yield x squared minus 10x plus 21 equals 0. So let's do that now. Here we have x squared minus 10x plus 21 is equal to 0. Now we could factor this, or we could use the quadratic formula. Let's use the quadratic formula for variance. So 
Here we have b. Uh, negative b is positive 10 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 100 minus 4 times a times c. 4 times 1 is 4 times 21 is 84. And this is all over 2 times a is 2. 100 minus 84 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. So here we have 10 plus or minus 4 all over 2. And this is equal to 10 plus 4 over 2. 10 plus 4 is 14 over 2 is 7. Or 10 minus 4 is negative 6 over 2. Sorry, 10 minus 4 is positive 6 over 2 gives us positive 3. So once again, our zeros are at 7 and 3. Finally, we can find the domain and the range of this function by looking at the vertex once again. Our a here is positive, which means that our parabola is going up, and our vertex is at 5 comma negative 8, which means that negative 8 is the minimum value of y. Again, x can vary uh, infinitely. It can go to neg infinity, it can go to pos infinity. So the domain here is x's all reals. And our range, y has to be bigger than or equal to negative 8. And so we have our vertex, our domain, our range, our zeros, and now once again, that is the answer.